Wildcats, look at this. I made my very own jump rope out of t-shirts. How cool is that? I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm excited because all summer long, we could be using our jump rope and practicing fun tricks that I'm gonna show you. Okay, Wildcats, before you do this, of course, you need parent permission, okay? Because we wanna make sure that you have their blessing before you do anything crazy. Okay, so um, you're gonna need three t-shirts old t-shirts, something that you don't want to wear anymore that doesn't fit you or or whatnot. Um, you're gonna need a pair of good scissors. The little um, safety scissors are not gonna work. You're gonna to have to ask your parents for some good scissors. You need a tape measure um, so you could measure the length of your t-shirt yarn. Okay, get your parents' permission first. We're gonna take our three shirts and turn them into t-shirt yarn. And you do that by starting at the bottom of your t-shirt and cutting the shirt into strips, making sure it's at least two inches in width. Once you have all of your yarn cut, you're gonna to have to measure out your yarn. The suggested t-shirt yarn length for a kid's jump rope is nine feet. I went ahead and did 10 feet and found that it was a little too short for my height. I'm 5'8", so if that might give you a good way to judge how long you should make your t-shirt yarn for your jump rope, because when you braid it, it's gonna get shorter and not really be the nine feet or the 10 feet in my case. So to start your, to start your jump rope, you are going to knot it off at one end. It's best if you have another set of hands to help you. And then you just start braiding. About every three or four braids, you'll have to untangle the t-shirt yarn at the bottom. And you just work your way all the way down the jump rope. Um, I didn't pull too tight on my braids um, just because I wanted the colors to show more. And then once you get to the end, you knot it off and you have yourself a t-shirt jump rope. All right, Wildcats, I'm gonna turn my camera so I could show you better my jump roping skills. There we go. All right, Wildcats, so here is my jump rope that I made from three t-shirts, okay? Um, and I actually have more um, material from the t-shirts. I could probably make another one, so awesome. And the proper um, length of your rope is gonna be if you're standing on it and you bring up your handles to, um, to your armpits, you want it to hit the top of your armpits. So if you notice that my t-shirt jump rope, even though I measured it to be 10 feet long, when I braided it, it made it shorter. So it's a little too short for me, but that's okay because it's a t-shirt and guess what? I could take that material and I could stretch it, All right? So look, now it's the perfect length. If you find that your t-shirt jump rope or your, if you're just using a regular jump rope is too long, you could simply just tie it in a knot at the end to, um, to make it shorter, okay? so. This is, I'm gonna start from the very, very basic, um, how to jump rope, and then we're gonna go into some simple tricks. All right, so here we go. If you don't know how to jump rope, you have to master this skill first, not hitting the back of your head, right? Simple enough. So you take the jump rope, you place it behind your heels, and you bring it up over your head, and you don't even jump, right? So once it hits your feet, then you're just gonna go to step over the jump rope. All right, so let's do that again. Up over your head, let it hit your feet, step over, good. Then you could try letting it hit your feet and doing a small hop over, okay? Small hop over. Once you have that step down, then you could try um, to jump over the rope as it's swinging underneath you, okay? Uh, you could listen for the jump rope to hit the ground, that's when you know how to jump, or you could visibly watch when the jump rope hits the ground in front of you, that's when you jump, okay? You're only jumping a little bit, little bit. You don't want to waste a lot of energy. It's just a small little hop, hop, okay? It's not a huge ginormous jump where you're wasting energy bringing your knees up to your chest. Okay, so here it is. So I'm watching the front of me when the jump rope hits the ground, that's when I jump, okay? So if you're just learning how to jump rope, that's where you are, that's fine. Just keep practicing. All right, moving on to some simple tricks. There's the single bounce and then there's the double bounce. A single bounce is where you um, bounce one time, or you jump one time as the rope comes underneath you. A double bounce is you kind of have like a rebound bounce um, to kind of get ready, to kind of keep a beat, to get ready to jump again. 
Does that make sense? Okay, so this is a single bounce. Jump, just one time. Okay, this is a double bounce. The difference between a double and a single bounce is that I'm bouncing two times now. All right? Jump, jump, jump. Oh! My t-shirt jump rope got stuck. Let's do that again. Double bounce. All right, so that's a double bounce. Um, so there's two types, single bounce, double bounce. All right, you can also jump rope backwards. That's where your jump rope starts, in front of your feet. Goes over behind your head, and then you jump. Okay, so see that again? Jump, in, jump rope is in front of your feet, over your head, and then jump. Okay, that's jumping backwards. All right, so next are side swings, my favorite. Okay, the trick about side swings is you have a handle or a knot in each hand, and you don't combine. Um, the handle or the knot stays in each hand, each individual hand. Don't combine the two. Okay, so this is how you do a side swing. You start like you're gonna jump over the rope, but you're not gonna jump. When you bring it over to your head, you're gonna combine your hands to one side, and you're gonna continue that momentum and let that jump rope swing, and then you're transferred to the other side. So this is a side swing. Notice that I have a handle in each hand. I'm not combining, that's important. Okay, so a side swing is just a figure eight. You don't want your jump rope to get away from you. You want it to be close to your body without hitting your body. All right, so that's called a side swing. Okay, what's really cool is you can combine the side swing with a jump. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to side swing once, and then I'm gonna open my hands and then jump. So I'm gonna jump, regular jump first, and then when I'm ready, I'm gonna side swing down, open and jump. Oh, I missed. That's okay, I'm gonna try that again. All right, start with a regular jump, side swing down, open and jump. Side swing down, open and jump. There I go, so these are called single side swing, open jump. Single side swing jump. All right, I could do a double side swing, side swing, side swing, open jump. Oh, I messed up, that's okay. Side swing, side swing, open and jump. Side swing, side swing, open and jump. Good, this is called a double side swing jump. So one, two, open and jump. One, two, open and jump. Okay, um, next we have the cross. All right, moving on to the crisscross jump. Okay, so the thing with the crisscross jump is when you bring your jump rope up over your head, you have to make sure that you crisscross your arms um, with enough space, cross them enough so you create more space with your jump rope. So if I cross them this much, there's not enough space for my body. But if I cross them this much, look at all that space that my body has to jump through, right? So if I only cross here, of course I'm not gonna make that jump because um, my body can't fit through that. So when you cross, you want to make sure that you really cross the elbows and keep your hands level. If you have one lower, then it creates a smaller space, even though I'm still crossing my elbows. Make sense? All right. You'll figure it out. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to practice my arms. Bring it up over my head. Crisscross. Check it out. Do I have enough space? Oh, yeah. I could totally get through that. When you jump through it, you want to make sure that you unwind and do a regular jump again. All right. So let's try it. Okay. Here we go. So... I'm gonna do a regular jump first and get that courage up, and then I'm gonna try a crisscross, okay? So regular jump, crisscross. Regular jump, crisscross. Regular jump, crisscross. Yeah, you got it? Okay, practice it if you don't. Whew. Did it. Okay, so one of my favorite jump rope tricks to do is combining the side swing and the crisscross. Okay, so how to do that is when you bring it up over your head, you are going to bring it down into a side swing. So bring it up over your head, bring it down into a side swing. You're gonna cross the outer arm, and this is where you would jump through, okay? And then you would do another side swing, bring it this way, cross your outer arm, jump through, side swing, cross, jump through, side swing, cross, jump through, okay? So I'm gonna attempt that now. Here we go, all right. Side swing, crisscross, jump through. Oh, didn't make it. That's okay. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, didn't make it. Look at that. The thing about learning something new is you have to be okay with making mistakes. I'm not new at this and I still make mistakes. 
So if you're not getting it, it's okay. Keep going. It's called perseverance. Perseverance, kiddos. Okay, here we go. Side swing, cross. Side swing, cross. Ooh, bummer. Okay, here we go. Side swing, cross. Ooh, bummer. Okay. There I go. Oh, I only did two. Okay, moving on. Let's do the 180. Okay, so 180 is just turning around. So you're going to regular jump, side swing face backwards, okay? So regular jump, side swing face backwards, regular jump. And now I'm actually jumping backwards, okay? So let's do that again. So regular jump, side swing, jump backwards, okay? So this is how you turn around from there. So you go from a backwards jump, and um, as the jump rope comes under, then you are going to turn back facing forward. Okay, so that's called a 380. Ha <laughs> ha, 360. It's called a 360. Okay, here we go. Regular jumping, side swing, turn around, backwards jump, side swing. There we go, regular jump. That's called a 380. Ah, 360, it's called a 360. <laughs> There we go. Okay, that's all the tricks I have today. Bye, Wildcats. Side swing face backwards. Regular jump. And now I'm actually jumping backwards. Okay, so let's do that again. So a regular jump, side swing, jump backwards. Okay, so this is how you turn around from there. So you go from a backwards jump, and um, as the jump rope comes under, 